Hi guys, Happy New Year to you all. I decided to give short video footage from the video course Snooker Basics. There will be some parts about breach end, aiming, QH and basics. I'm sure you are the person who wants results and you need a specific training guide with the system on why, how, when to practice, essential skills and help you achieve a big improvement in your snooker game. Enjoy watching! Your whole hand should be on the table. I mean that this part of the hand should be always on the table. When you're playing with the topspin, center or screw back short backspin. Common mistake for the beginner snooker players or even good players that they hold their bridge hand on the air. What do I mean about that? That sometimes they like to they have a gap between their hand and cloth. You can play like this and put some balls, but you never will have a consistency because your, your hand can move to the side. But if you're putting your hand to the cloth, your bridge hand cannot move. And it makes your shot much easier. Because bridge hand is such a vital part of the game, your bridge hand should always touch the cloth. Always look to the object ball. Stand behind the shot and look to the shot line. I think that is the, this is my shot line. When I do my approach, I always keep my head still to the line. My head doesn't move at all. From the beginning of the short approach to the end. One, two, three, pause. Again, I'm looking to the object ball and I'm putting blue ball to the center pocket. Common mistakes if people are turning the left leg there or there. I recommend you to put your left leg straight. If you're gonna put your leg straight, that means your head and body position is gonna be almost straight all the time. If your left foot is gonna be to the left or to the right, that means your body is gonna turn to the left or to the right. And it's not, this is not a very convenient way to play it. When I'm pulling my cue back, my back fingers opens with my hand together. And when I'm delivering my cue, my hand closes. I'm gonna show you again. When I'm pulling my cue back, my last fingers are opening uh, slightly, but I'm not, I'm holding together cue. When I'm pulling my cue back, I have to feel control with all my fingers. And as you can see, my hand. When you're playing nice quality shots, your cue stops next to the chest without any necess unnecessary movement. So if you're playing well, it stops here without any vibration. But if you're playing hard shot, that means your hand could jump a little bit away from the chest and it makes your shot more difficult. If you, if you have play hard, it, it bounces like a vib vibration. So guys, here was another short video course preview. I'm sure you see why it's essential not only to practice a lot, but practice correctly. Students who already took a course improved their game by 20-30% on average in the first two months after the video course purchase, which is a lot. The time which you spend practicing should be productive and give you fruits. Check our website right now. If you're interested in the course, text me privately on WhatsApp Telegram. See you soon.